Good morning, everyone. Let's try the New York Times Hard Sudoku for Saturday, June 22nd. Uh, let's see. These cells can't be 8, and obviously none of those are, so 8 must be there. Which forces it in one of these two, right off the bat. place with three in the top three rows. Beyond that, I have five, six, eight, two, seven, four, nine appearing once each. I'm done. In the middle rows, we're going to get an eight. Oh, and we get a one and a seven. Sort of. Seven ends up here. One could be in any of those, I think. Yep. On the bottom... Five is actually forced right here. Uh, three we've already done. Nine, two, seven, four, eight. We can't, just on row alone. If we go by column scanning, five is there in column one. One, two, three, seven, eight otherwise, so I'm done, and I already placed the eight in the middle. Those two eights and this eight looking left will force an eight in box two, and then I can place it in box one right off the bat. Seven goes in one of two places in column six. Four goes in two places in column four. Other than seven, four, eight, I have six, three, one and nine appearing once each on the right i'll get a three placed and a nine placed is that all i get i think so Okay, box six, nine actually has six given digits. I just saw that. I need one, six, and eight. Neither of those two can be eight, so I can place the eight immediately. That's not eight, therefore that one is. And this one is, and that's not. And just like that, I have all nine of my eights. These two are one and six. This is left as a triple. Not quite. One, two, six, and nine. Column six has four, five, eight, nine. Column seven has one, four, seven, eight. And column five has one, four, seven, eight. Column four has three, six, seven, eight placed. Absolutely none of those are four. I have two, three, five, eight in box one.
of those can be 2, 5, or 8, but that's not hopeful. These are not 3, 5, 8, 9. Box 4 has 1, 7, 8 filled. A lot of four six nines interacting on the left, but so far nothing interesting coming out of it. Column seven has two seven eight nine. Those aren't three, that's not five or six. Well, that pesky three is why I don't have a one four five six quad. These aren't three, four, eight. That ends up as seven or one. This is seven, nine or one. Over here, those can't be three, five, eight, nine. Okay, two ends up on the diagonal in box three. Not that that helps me much. Three in row five is in two places, both within box four, so I can delete three from the other spots. can't place a 2 in column 3. I wanted to do that. I'm not quite there yet. Okay, none of those are 9 by the 9 in row 7. This isn't 9 by the 9 in column 6. 9 must go here, so it cannot go those two. Therefore, it must go one of those three, but we knew that. Rows 1, 2, and 3, we don't have anything else, do we, that I can eliminate? These are 7, nothing else in row 7 or box 6, and those are 1, and nothing else in row 4 or box 6. Got this weird one six on a diagonal that I need to disambiguate somehow. Now let's try this as one, and hopefully I end up with a contradiction. This is one two nine, so this can't be two. Therefore, that one would not be one. This one couldn't have been one anyway. I 
this too, so these aren't. Okay, the four in row five places the six, and then the nine, and that's a problem. Because if I mark this correctly, which I may not have marked correctly, though, where does the th where does the three come in? This could still be three, couldn't it? Yep. So three in row five was an incorrect assumption. No, it wasn't. It was two or three, so these can't be. So we said this one was a one. It can't be, and therefore I'm pretty sure it must be six by contradiction. Now, that's not going to quite reduce my plot holes as easily. This is a two, six, nine, so that's not six or nine. That's not six or nine. More importantly, those aren't six. Column 5 comes up, that places a 5. Column 5, and that does a lot, I think. Yeah, 1, 2, 3 will place the 9 in row 2. Based on the 1, 2, 3 that's left in box 2. Two, six, nine, so this can't be two. <sighs> Column five is reduced to a triple. Yeah, I've got threes looking into column seven and row five, but I can't ascertain which is which. This so can't be six. One of those must be in column nine, box six. Therefore, this one isn't. And neither is that. This down to three or five, unfortunately, doesn't really help me with much. I don't think this helps me at all, does it? But there's a 469 that hasn't been affected in column 2. That, pla that place is the 1.
and the one, two, four, column four, that places the five, which will place this five, and therefore that's a three. Therefore that's a three. Two is placed in row five. That places the six in column six. Actually, this is four. That's seven. This is a two, which makes that one not two two ways. Four will finish off the six in row five. This isn't six. Now I've got that pesky two means I still have one, two, three, five, six, seven. Quintuple in column six, but not for very long. That's a two. This can't be four. Got another one six playing with me. No, that's a four. This is seven, nine, seven, not nine, not seven. Okay, that can't be six because I finally got column three down to a one six pair. Two, four. I thought this one six would have resolved itself in column three by now, but I guess I have to do everything else first. But thankfully, I only had to prove one contradiction and not two or three. Yeah, 18 minutes, this isn't bad. I'm not happy that it came down to proving a contradiction, but at least I got there.